Hello friends and welcome to A Shot of Code. Today we're going to be looking at NPM Audit, which lets us check our packages that we're using uh, for security vulnerabilities. When, whenever you're creating a component and you pull in some dependencies, they will pull in various other dependencies and you can end up with like hundreds of packages before you know it. Uh, and checking, trying to find out if there's any problems with those packages on your own would be impossible. But NPM provides us this utility to uh, check uh, if there's any um, known security vulnerabilities and then also um, potentially fix them for us automatically if it can. Um, if it can't, then um, we can have a look at what options are open to you as well. So let's jump in here first and I'll just do an example with uh, an oldish version of Express which um, has a known vulnerability. So if I um, just create uh, uh, package.json in here and then if we do an npm install and we install express at 4.8.0 that will pull in um, quite a few packages as dependencies you know, if we have a look in code here and look at our node modules we've got yeah quite a few there just for express obviously it is quite a complicated uh, application um, and even on install, we're actually getting these days um, some information on the potential problems. There's 21 vulnerabilities in here, four of which are high. So, um, and it says you can run npm audit fix to fix them or npm audit for details. So let's start with npm um, audit to just get some details on these. That should put them out to the screen here. Um, and then let's see if we can scroll up and uh, oh, yeah, so here's a high, a denial of service. Um, so it tells us uh, which package has got the problem and then where it's been installed from in our dependency tree. So we installed Express, which use, uses uh, static, which uses send, which uses fresh, and fresh has this problem in it. Um, and we've obviously got quite a few more as well. So if I just scroll back down. Um, so it says here there's 21 of them, but at the same time it says run npm audit fix to fix 21 of them. So npm is going to be able to automatically uh, resolve this for us. And what it will do is it will um, upgrade the versions of these packages that have the problems to newer patched versions um, and, and all should be good. So let's do an npm audit uh, fix. Okay, so it's added 18 packages um, and fixed all of the vulnerabilities. So if we now do an npm audit, then all is good. Now, let's have a look um, at when it gets a little bit more tricky and you have to manually um, uh, resolve this yourself. So let's, um, let's create a new directory here, audit2. And we'll go into there and we'll create our package.json again. Okay, and this time we'll do an npm install express and we'll go at um, 3.10.0, I think, something like that. Basically, we want to be one major version down. So rather than being four, uh, major version four, we're now in three. Um, and there's even more problems in this. Um, now it's saying there's 35 vulnerabilities um, and we can run the fix so let's see uh, if that does work for us let's do an npm audit fix okay so this time unfortunately it says it's fixed zero of our 35 one package update for 35 would involve breaking changes, i.e. going to version 4. Um, but we can do that. We can do an npm audit fix force and that will update it for us. Um, if, I close, if I just close this one and just come into code for, for this version and we look at our package.json, we can see, look, yeah, we are Semver is saying um, the caret here 
says we're only allowed to update the minor version. Uh, we cannot update this one. So we could we could manually change this. We could just put a star in this and get the, the very latest version. Um, or we could um, just put a four in here. Um, or we can let npm take care of this for us um, with an npm audit fix and a force. So it will make the breaking change. Okay, now this time it's fixed 35 of the vulnerabilities. So if I do an npm audit now, we should see we're nice and clean again. Okay, so zero vulnerabilities. And I come into my package.json, you can see it's actually um, upgraded us to version 4.16.4 in this case. Um, okay, so that one again, npm is pretty much done for us. Um, what, what other sort of problems have we got? Let's have a look at um, a project I've created here. I'll scroll to top. Uh, if I just close that one again and come in here. Um, so let's just have a quick look at the, the package.json here for this one. Uh, we've got quite a few open here. So our dependencies. Um, Right, I've actually played this before. Let me just take these ones out because they are not needed. And just do an npm install on that quickly. Right. Um, so if we look at our dependencies in this project, and it's basically a uh, lit element web component. When you scroll down the screen, uh, when you get past a certain point, it will pop up a toast that you can click and it will take you back up to the top. So you can picture if you've got um, a very long page and you don't want to manually scroll to the top, this helps you out there. Um, okay, so let's run the report on this one. Uh, you can see there, I think there's going to be a few issues. Um, so let's do npm audit and see what we get. Okay, so found four vulnerabilities, um, but no mention of npm audit fix and it says require manual review now the reason for this is um, these packages have got a tied to a particular version of a package with a problem so let's i mean let's look at this bottom one down here um, a denial of service one is in the package debug which is and we can see the path here it comes from WCT into Mocha and into debug. Um, so Mocha will be including a version of debug and we need to get up to 2.6.9. So let's see what version Mocha is using on debug. If I come into my node modules here for this, and come down to Mocha. So we can see Mocha here. And then let's have a look at its package.json. Now, it is using a version of debug 2.6.8. If I come back in here, we need 2.6.9. We were close. Um, but no cigar, unfortunately. So, what the npm audit fix would normally do is if in here there was a carrot then it could or even a tilde in this case it would be able to update this to 2.6.9 um, but as we're tied to an actual specific version here which is fair um, uh, but not allowing us to upgrade um, this cannot be fixed automatically by npm what we will need to do is go to the maintainers of the mocker package um, and either create a pr for updating this package.json to have a newer version of debug um, or just ask them if they could update it themselves uh, either way that is the way to resolve it in this case. Um, if if it's a package that's not been maintained, you could you might even have to make a fork yourself and do the upgrade yourself. And at the very worst case, you'd have to fork it and go into the code. Uh, but hopefully, um, in most cases, uh, NPM will be able to fix automatically 
or it will be a simple uh, request to update this version um, within the package. Um, so there you go, that's NPM Audit. Uh, if you like this video, uh, give us a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see some more, then click on that subscribe below. And otherwise, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.